now I was pregnant, um, I would feel extremely lost. Basically, I'd look at that baby and have a panic attack. No one understands. It seems so easy for other women. Feeling overwhelmed. With the fear and the anxiety. Unable to manage. I couldn't even get dressed in the morning. Lying awake at night, worrying. Waking up in the morning, filled with dread. Feeling hopeless. Worthless. Suicide. Anxious. Guilt and shame. Nauseous. Extremely removed. Overwhelmingly sad. I couldn't explain it. It would just happen. Women who come here are in great distress, and our role really is to relieve their distress, meanwhile educating them about their condition and helping them find some relief. The Reproductive Mental Health Program is a multidisciplinary program. We treat people here who are dealing with psychiatric illnesses, who are pregnant, postpartum, dealing with infertility, pregnancy loss, or mood symptoms related to their periods. We offer a full range of treatments here, but it will be tailored to each individual woman. The most common illnesses we see are major depression, anxiety disorders, uh, bipolar disorders, and uh, schizophrenia or the psychotic disorders. Having a baby is a difficult, overwhelming time uh, at the best of times, and some women who either already have some challenges with their mental health or have had stressors during their pregnancy, might be feeling depressed or really anxious and very overwhelmed and having a hard time managing. We offer mindfulness and relaxation. We offer workshops on helping your baby sleep. We offer workshops on how to manage your anger. Medication treatments, we're usually looking at things like antidepressants or anti-anxiety medications, and we have a discussion around that and pick something that we know is safe for the pregnancy or for breastfeeding, that kind of thing. In terms of non-medication treatments, then we're looking at things like counseling, either it's one-on-one -on -one kind of counseling or, or group support programs or group counseling. We offer a holistic and broad range of services for women, and it's a very warm, inviting, and caring place. They realize they're not experiencing the anxiety or the depression alone. Have a chance to talk about some of the difficulties, take away some of that shame and guilt. I'm a woman, and I have children, and I understand what it's like to be sleep deprived and exhausted, and so I really, really enjoy the women that I meet, and I feel very privileged to be invited into their lives. People come here in great distress, they leave here enjoying their babies. When you're a mom, you're looking after everybody else, but you're not looking after yourself. And part of our program is to say, look, you're ill right now, you need treatment, we need to focus on you. So that, if, if women can really listen to that, they do get better. This is my story. I've, I've gone to reproductive mental health and you know, it's not a shameful thing. That is a huge step to walking out of that fog where you're helpless because you're not you've made the choice it's just letting me get back to being me again i was really upset and thinking i was going to be a bad mother but through counseling and my medication and getting help i realized that i could be a good mother i wanted to be a good mother i just didn't know how and so i started thinking about all the things that made me a good person and how i could share that with my daughter and i would become a good mother everything was worth it Every moment, every, all the pain, all the, the agony and the sadness, it all made up for it. Because I mean, look, I have this beautiful girl. I love when people respond to the treatment that we offer, when they get to know themselves better, when they're coping better, and when they're able to enjoy their babies and their families.